there are mirrors on both sides. Very nice. Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. I'm Catherine. Chris is back at the hotel we're actually staying at. Now we booked this villa at Westgate Vacation Villas. We are in building MM unit five. And unfortunately we weren't able to stay here this trip and we couldn't get our money back because it was too late. But they did say that pets were welcome here. Unfortunately, our Trixie girl was on their restricted breed list. So we had to make other arrangements, but we did want to show you the room. We are in a two bedroom unit. And when you enter the villa, first off to your right, you have a little closet. That's where your cleaning supplies are, a broom, a mop, your iron and ironing board and your fire extinguisher. And then off to the left, you have one bedroom, looks like two double beds, a ceiling fan, a table in the middle with a couple of drawers, a nice sitting desk, some more drawers, and your television, a television, it's a decent size. You have a closet with Oh, a mirror. I guess double doors, but they're not quite working properly. But plenty of hanging space. Then you have your first bathroom, which also opens up out into uh, the hallway area across from the kitchen. There's a nice glassed in shower tub combination. It's pretty, pretty nice size here. Oh yeah, that's huge. Of course I'd be the other way so that the faucet wasn't right at my head, but it's pretty big. And it looks like the shower head is pretty high too. Oh yeah, I think that would be fine for Chris. It is very high to get in and out of, so keep that in mind if you have accessibility issues. The nice vanity, just one sink but some storage space down below. A couple of nice drawers. And your hair dryer. And a separate closed off toilet. Which is always nice. So that's bathroom number one. And then you go out here and you have your kitchen area, which is nice and spacious. You have your dishwasher, sink, coffee maker. I'm sure we have, oh yeah, plenty of glassware. And bowls and plates microwave, full stove, stove top and oven, full size refrigerator and freezer. Oh, with lots of ice. Nice big and clean refrigerator. A little window out the kitchen, that's nice. And this is also where you will find your full size washer and dryer. Not sure why there's a bunch of towels in it, but it doesn't make a difference to us because we're not staying here anyway. I am 
curious to know if anything's in the dryer. Nope. Dryer's empty. Then you have a nice big dining area. Three seats at the bar. And six seats at the table. Very nice. You also have a wet bar in this area. And you have a very nice big living room area with a love seat and a sofa. Plenty of tables. I don't see any coasters. Oh, this is a pull-out sofa. So I'm sure there are extra linens in one of the closets. Nice large entertainment center. Decent sized TV. And then of course you have your screened in patio out here with a table and four chairs and also a lounger. And this building is backed up right to one of the pools, which is always nice and convenient. So you can see how many people are there before you head out. There is entry onto the porch from both this living room area and from the master bedroom. Here's the master bedroom, looks like a king. The little end table, actually end tables on both sides. Another very large sitting desk with some drawers and the TV. You also have a sitting chair. There's an awful lot of space in this room. Very nice layout here. And then the bathroom area for the master, that is an enormous tub. <laughs> yep. I mean, this is one side and this is the other. It is jetted, so that's nice. There are mirrors on both sides. Very nice. Oh, I should have come here earlier in the week. I could have come to take a little break by myself, had a little vacation. Vacation from my vacation. Man, this is sweet. I can almost, yeah, straighten my legs on the wide side too. Oh man. Maybe we should stay here tonight. Oh no, we have Trixie. I forgot. Crap. Why can't they just take our Trixie girl? She would have loved this place. We have a nice closet here with the double mirror doors. That's where the safe is also. Same vanity with the one sink as we had in the other bathroom. You have a your closed off toilet, which actually has a real door, not a slidey door. And then a little, little walk-in shower. So this is much more accessible um, if you can fit through that little area. Your lip is just about probably six inches. I like to think I'm not a very big person, but I mean, it's not a struggle to get in, but it's about the same width as my shoulders. So probably need to go sideways if you're bigger. The shower head is, is up a ways, but it's not nearly as high as the first one. And they do have a little mirror in here. So I guess if you wanna, I don't know, guys, do you shave your face in the, in the shower? I don't know. Well, this was a very nice place. However, I will say about the property, and for those of you looking for a place particularly that accepts dogs, 
Um, this place does accept dogs, like I said, but there are weight and breed restrictions. I believe they accept dogs up to 60 pounds and they do have restrictions on breeds. We'll put that either on the screen or in the description down below. If you do have a large dog and you are looking to bring him or her to Florida, be sure to check out our video on Town Place Suites. It's just one exit up. They do have a free shuttle to Disney and they accepted our dog, no restrictions, and she was treated like a queen there. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a spot. And let us know in the description down below, have you come to Florida or anywhere in the US with your pet and how were you treated? We really wanna know because we are going to be making lots of trips with our pup over the next several years. So we really need to figure this thing out. Otherwise we're not gonna be traveling. Like I said, this resort is very large. There are a lot of people here and it can get pretty crowded and there can be a lot of traffic, especially with the trolleys running. So keep that in mind. Um, if that's not your thing, you know, especially if you're gonna be going to the parks, you kind of wanna have a place that's relaxing and, and not crowded. You might wanna keep that in mind if you're thinking of booking at a place like Westgate Vacation Villas. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we release a new video, and we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride.